Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am going to be talking about removing stickers off of your planner pages. Now for me, I always have a problem with like putting stickers down, not liking where I put it or how I put it down and then having to pull them off and then put them. I used to, a lot of people used to get upset at me about my indecisiveness, I guess you can say, about my sticker placements. But I don't, that doesn't bother me when people say that. But for me, I always pull my stickers off. And um, actually these have been on here for a few days and these come off really nicely. Now I've encountered this, either one or the other. Either they come off like this, like super easy, or they're just like glued to the page. So for me, if I can remove the sticker, like if it starts peeling up and there's like no resistance, then I know it's gonna come off the page. Like this one is coming off. Usually a lot of the older Happy Planner sticker books, the stickers are not as sticky. Um, I usually also put my stickers on some wax paper which helps to reduce the stickiness of the stickers but even like with some of the newer stickers that I have even with putting it on wax paper it still is like stuck like glue on to a spread so I actually have one over here another one that I did earlier like this one if I wanted to remove it like say I wanted to continue this list I didn't want to do a no spend challenge here um like I would try pulling it up, but I already feel like, okay, yeah, it's already ripping right here. It's already got like a corner that's ripping, so that is not gonna come up. And then I tried earlier pulling it from the top and that wasn't coming up either. So I was gifted some undo from a planner friend, Morgan, thank you for giving this to me. Um, I've used it once but I've never used it on camera. So I'm not the best at using this stuff, but I kind of wanted to show you how um, actually using this is super helpful and makes these stubborn stickers that do not want to come off the page, they, they come off pretty easily. So I just wanted to show you the process of it. I'm gonna take this out actually. And then um, I actually have writing here. I was really worried when I first used this that it was going to like smear the logo the writing, um, that it wasn't going to dry at all, or like gonna dry, like have like a wet spot, like you're gonna see like an outline of it. It doesn't do any of that, which is really nice. Um, and it removes the stickers. So I'm just going to, let's see, put a few drops here down. I'm still like learning how to use this thing. And then that way I can cover this up here. Okay, I'm just gonna also cap this so no more comes out. Um, and then I'm going to start using this little, okay, yeah, here you go. I have a little edge here and just start taking the sticker off. So it is coming up. Um, the part that I ripped, that part is coming up. So that's good. So you kind of just work it. And then it's supposed to like dry, like even the sticker is supposed to dry so that way you can reuse it, which is really nice. I wonder if I pull it though. I mean, I probably shouldn't get it on my hands, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to like um, dry completely. I probably should put more actually. Probably need to put more, um, but I kind of just want to pull it. All right, so it pulled off. I needed more here, obviously, I need more. Um, for me, I feel like I kind of ruined the sticker and I kind of don't want to put it down, but I want to see how it dries and if it dries sticky. Um, so I'm gonna stick this, where can I stick this that it's not gonna ruin the sticker. Okay, I have this book. I'm just gonna stick it here for now and see if that dries somewhat, but as you can see, I removed it off of here. It didn't rip the page. Now it's just gonna dry. Now I don't want to remove these, so I'm just gonna let that be. Um, this did kind of get onto this part, which I 
I drew up with a marker or with a pen. It's not bleeding or anything like that. All right, so I'm just going to let this dry. Now, one of the things that I, I mean, I like that this removes the stickers, obviously it's nice. Didn't rip the page, which I sometimes do <laughs> actually in the new planners that I have from the Happy Planner, the page seems like it rips a little bit more than it used to. Um, so I've been having that issue recently with when I remove stickers that it rips the actual page of my planner, which isn't cool. I don't like that. So that would solve this problem. Um, the first time I used it, it was really smelly and I actually don't smell it like this time around. So that's good. I don't know. I remember it smelled though, but so that's not bad. It's not like super strong. Now, my only problem with this is that I'm, I'm not patient enough to wait for this to dry <laughs> and then continue on. Like, especially since I film, um, it, the last time I used this, it took a while for it to dry. So I'm still waiting for it to dry. This is still wet. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to just put this video on pause and come back to it once everything is dry. And I think I might set like a little timer. It's been a few minutes, but I kind of want to see how long this will dry. And I didn't really soak it that much. Um, so hopefully it's not too long. Okay, it's only been a couple minutes, but I already feel like this is already getting its stickiness back, so that's good to see it's not dry yet completely. And I totally ruined this. I wonder if how it's going to look once it's completely dry, because I feel like I ruined it. Again, I'm not good at using that yet. I still haven't, like, um, figured out, like, a good technique on how to lift the stickers yet. Um, this part still looks the same, so it's still drying. Um... Yeah, the back still the same. So we'll see if this dries completely. But yeah, so far this one, it's almost sticking down into this, which it wasn't at first. And I can feel all the stickiness completely on the sticker. So that's nice. Okay, so this has been going for like almost half an hour and I really don't want to wait any longer. Yeah, so it works well. It just takes forever to dry um, oh, and it's dry. Like you could totally, you know, put it back in your planner and it's fine. It's just, I wanted to see how long it would take for it to completely like go away because it does eventually like, it, you can't see it at all. Whereas here you can still see it, obviously. Like it looks like it's wet, but it's not. This one, I'm gonna stick back onto this planner spread just to see how it sticks. And it does stick down. I mean, this isn't completely dry either, but at least it's stuck on here super easy to move to <laughs> now that it's gone through the undo okay so just wanted to go over undo um it's something that you can get if you have issues with pulling stickers up for me I feel like I've gotten pretty good about pulling up my stickers and then like if I do rip them putting them back together with a little bit of glue um, but this is a good little nice trick to have on hand um for those really hard to peel up stickers that you really, really, really want to get off of your spread. So yeah, just wanted to mention undo, um, something new that I have that I will start using if I need to. Um, it does have some like caution type things on here that you might want to be aware of, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's, it's flammable. So be careful with it. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share that. So hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.